everyone, it's Lexi. So over the month of May, I purchased a lot of good books, movies, and some um, music. So I thought I'd share them with it with you. So without further ado, let's get started. So kind of like in terms of like music, the first thing that I got this month was um, "Playing with Fire" by Jennifer Nettles, and she was the lead singer on the like, the Sugarland country duo. I really like her voice. I love her first album and this one is just as good as well. I really like it. She just has an amazing voice and just her style is so unique. And what was neat with this one, I kind of pre-ordered it off her website so I actually got a signed copy of it as well, which is really neat. I don't know if you can see, but it's just really neat. So I love Jennifer Nettles. I will listen to anything she sings. Like she can sing the phone book and it would sound really good. So I ended up purchasing only three movies this month. So the first one, I don't have the copy with me now. My sister has it and it's How to Be Single. I, we saw this in theaters and it's not like as funny as it, the commercials made out to be, but I still think it's kind of a good kind of finding yourself and all this stuff. So I think it's really good. It's just kind of one of those fun movies you get to watch. And also I also got Joy. Um, which is a good, like, I think coming of age story of well and kind of figuring out your place. It's basically like the Silver Linings Playbook cast just thrown into a different mix. But it's still good. I really like it. I love Jennifer Lawrence, so, yeah. And the last movie that I got was one that I've had my on for a while, and I decided to pick it up, and it's Saving Mr. Banks, and it's basically how Mary Poppins came about, like, that storyline. And I love Tom Hanks, so, and Disney movies, so... Why not? It's really good. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend that you do. So this was a book that I pre-ordered. I love Elizabeth Wine. She did Codename Verity and Rose Under Fire. And this is her newest book. It's called Black Dove, White Raven. And it's about a, I think it takes place in the 1930s. And it's about a white woman who ends up as like um, adopting a black kid. And just kind of like the dynamics around that. And I love Elizabeth Wine. She does a really good job with like the history side of it. So I'm excited to pick this one up, and I haven't read historical fiction in a while, so I'll be definitely picking this one up soon. So and I also picked up the last book, and I forget, I don't know what this, but it's like this uh, Stolen Songbird trilogy. I read the first one this month, and I'm definitely going to be reading the second one soon. So this one came out in May, so I picked it up, and it was Warrior Rich. Um, I haven't heard anything about the other two, but the first one was just really good. And so I'm super excited to kind of continue on. I think I'll definitely be finishing this series this summer. So this one is one that I heard a lot about, but it's um, Burial Rites by Hannah Kent, and it's a historical fiction novel. I know there's something with, like, a murder. I, like, I heard the plot, but I don't want to go too much into it. So I'm really excited. I've heard great things about this. It has really good reviews. So, yeah, definitely one I'll be picking up soon. So the, um... These next few books were ones out of a trilogy that I'm meaning to start. I will be getting to it soon, I promise. I had the first one in paperback, but I saw that they did the cover change, and I was like, mm. So I went all to paper um, hardcover because I didn't like the cover change, but they kept the latest release and kind of the same thing, and it's like the Winner Winner's Crime Circle by Marie Rutowski, and so this one I'm really excited. I've heard great things. I know a lot of people love it, and it's like politically based. So I got the first one, um, The Winner's Crime, and then also The Winner's Kiss, and this is a trilogy that I'm really excited to start, and I've heard nothing but great things about it. And so obviously it wouldn't be a May Hall without the monster of a book of A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. And this is the second installment for the Thro um, A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. And I had really mixed feelings about um, this kind of book overall like the first one but I'm very happy that I decided to stick with it I gave it a five out of five stars you'll see my wrap-up but I also have a more in-depth review that I'll link down below but if you're hesitant about this book or if you didn't like the first one I recommend that you stick with it because it was worth kind of the kind of trailing through the first one because this book makes up for it like a million times over and so the last book that I purchased this month this was one like one of those weird things that you order on Amazon and then I ended up, like, the delivery date kept getting moved over, like, it was maybe, like, July, and then it bounced, and I was like, your order is shipped, so I was like, okay. And it was, um, The Art of Zootopia. I really like this movie. I saw it in theaters, um, and it's just basically kind of the art behind it, and, like, I don't know, I think it's just really neat. I, I love kind of this movie, and it shows you the, the different kind of, um, town and the world they created, and, like, the characters, and it's just really neat. I think it's just really well done. It it was worth the 
like the dates being jumbled all over but it was worth the wait um because i think i ordered in march and it finally came now but it's just really nice i love kind of like the concept art and just how things progressed and changed and kind of like how like character traits that you don't really notice but they kind of have to like put in like you don't really notice it but yeah so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this haul let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books or seen these movies or music and if there's anything you think i need to check out so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you next time bye guys